Um, hi Doug, hope you're okay. Yeah, service isn't about taking part in every ministry in church or going to every conference uh, that's available. Isn't you it? can't be all things oh. to all men. No, that's true. Remember that, Julian? Right, okay. Right. Only God can. You'll get burnt out and end up hurting yourself and others. Yeah. I know that from experience. Service is knowing specifically what God wants you to do mm -hmm. and doing it well. Yes. Take care, Doug. Love the waistcoats. Loving Jesus, Nadia uh, from South Yorkshire. Uh, and this is how the scriptures put it. Can I? Yes, please do. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 4 to 6. Now there are a variety of gifts, but the same Spirit. Mm -hmm. But there are varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of working, but it is the same God who inspires them all in everyone. Now you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. So if you're looking at, at Doug Harris as the reach out guy and that's what his job is and he's, he's in service and you're not, think on, scriptures say you are the body of Christ and uh, you, everybody listening and everybody watching are individually members of it. And God has appointed in the church first apostles, prophets, teachers, workers of miracles, healers, helpers, administrators. Guys, why do we always forget that one? We do in Wales terribly. Speakers in various kinds of tongues are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, do all work miracles, mm. do all possess gifts of healing, do all speak in tongues, do all interpret. Now the inference there is no. Mm. They don't. Mm. We have to work together. And, mm. and what gift I have, you may not have, but you have a gift which will complement yeah. the gift Amen. I have and, and vice versa. But earnestly desire the higher gift, says Paul. Now that's how the Bible puts it. In other words, there's no cop out here, guys. Mm. You're in service. The minute you bowed the knee to Christ, you entered into service. Mm. But that service, as we've already said several times, that, that's the service that sets you free. Mm. into the things that that you need to be doing you know it, it yeah it, it's great because again we don't do everything as was said there absolutely uh, and 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 in fact we shouldn't do everything and if we try and do everything there's something wrong mm -hmm. so it is a question of coming to rest with what god has I've given gone, me yes. mm -hmm. I, I i know i struggle with this for a long time and I, I think every now and again it comes back up and i have to come to the place where i literally go before the lord and say i let go of that mm -hmm. and you know whatever that means i tell the lord, I, I i he understands what i'm saying uh, you know lord i'm, I'm not going to grapple with that i'm not going to hang on to that i'm not going to try i'm letting go of it lord now if you give it back to me great mm -hmm. if you take it away fine but you know otherwise we, we just try and we do we we, we we burn out but we've been given one another in this service haven't we yes, and we and you know unless god put, puts us in a very isolated place which maybe for a few people he does but for the majority he doesn't we are serving together mm -hmm. with, with with those giftings yes. uh, as you said mm -hmm. did you ever i mean you mentioned it know, but did you ever struggle uh, Dominic, of, of of trying to be everything to everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in in college, I could be quite easily misunderstood. People would. Uh, one person actually asked me, you know, are are you, you know, making a show when you speak? Are, are you are you pretending? You know, because passion can be mis misunderstood for a bit of acting sometimes yeah. or drama and you think is it real because you see a lot nowadays which is dramatically emphasized and, and people think you're just attention seeking um w what is the difference between genuine service and um serving others f for self reasons uh that that's quite a, di a difference which needs to be sorted out you need to know um what's in your heart what's the motivation mm -hmm. for doing what you do mm -hmm. and I, I remember wanting to do everything and i'd say yes to everybody you know yes i can do that oh yes i can do that and soon you realize actually my diary dates are clashing um and you think <laughs> if i let one down now that's it they're not going to think i'm good uh, so what do i do and and it, it's bouncing out i was thinking what is honoring god am i truly serving christ in my action or am I actually serving myself or, or serving the image mm, yeah. of others? You know, what, what do others, what do, what do I expect others mm, to expect mm, of me? Mm. Um, what, what, what are their expectations? Um, but rather than really what the, in the end, it's what the Lord's expectations are. That's right. I mean, we, we've 
we've shown this a couple of times. You can't compare yourself in service with the person next to you because no. you're you have if you like you haven't got the same contract if I can put yeah, it like right. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're talking about relationship, not a signed contract. But you don't have it. God hasn't called them no. to the same thing as you. And so whereas we recognise one another and and the gifts of one another, um, at the same time we 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 mustn't uh, think we've all got to do the same mm, thing. Mm. Do you, what about mm. the opposite? I was just thinking this when uh, Dominic was saying there about wanting to do everything. What about the opposite of what I can only describe as lazy Christians uh -huh. that don't want to do anything? I mean, how how can we encourage them, Julian? It's been I mean, my, my experience you know. that, that people who don't want to do anything um, it, it, are living in fear. Really? Yeah, you, I think, you think, I think so. Yeah. In the main, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, obviously right. that's a very general statement. Um, but but it's been my experience. That's my experience. It may be different for other people, obviously. But um, I, I remember back to you know the good old days when I first be came to the Lord, and uh, it's 25, 26 years ago. Um, and as a young man, absolutely on fire and taking no prisoners. You know, it was it was absolutely incredible. And, and for two years, it was it was incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people were following me around and asking the question, "How do we get saved?" You know, we were leading people to, to Christ on the roadside, walking after. You know, it, it was of that nature mm. uh, and that scared the life out of people mm. Mm. it really did it scared people because up until this this lot i mean the four or five of us got got saved together and we were really on fire and we we, we searched the, the word and we were really really on fire i mean un unreal i wish i could get back to it but that frightened the life out of this this little church that that up until that point was just toddling along you know the baptist church toddling along in a little town on a coastal town in, in, in southwest Wales, and suddenly, wallop, th there's just all this stuff going on. And, and we would go into them saying, right, let's put a picture show on, let's put a something on in the memorial hall, let's let's go around the doors, let's do this. And it just frightened them. And and I think what they what they were trying to do was, was rein us in. And we wouldn't be reined in, of course. This this was the gospel, we were doing it. And, and in the end, there was, a, there was a big clash. But that was all born out of fear because they saw these young men going for it and that wasn't them. Mm. What they were doing was, was saying, well, this is our church, the poster on, on, the, on the outside, come and join us type of thing, which always saddens me to, to see that because it means they're not, they're not coming out. They're expecting uh, yes. people to come yes. in. And it, yes. I mean, the, yeah. the commission doesn't say that. Um, but it just frightened them. And even when we got to the point where they, where they allowed us to do door-to-door -door work, um, even if it wasn't without, they say, we're not putting a stamp of the church on it. You go and do it. We we'll allow you to do it. Um, even then, um, they, they, would, they would come and they would say, right, we'll make you a cup of tea. And that's how, as far as they would go. And I'm looking back, at, we're talking about this retrospect earlier on, you know. I'm looking back on that and I'm thinking, I was so angry with them. I was so fed up with them in the end. You know, we, we left in the end because there was just this, this going on. And I'm looking back and thinking, well, actually, I shouldn't have been angry with them. I should have seen what was happening, even as a young man, and I should have seen the fear. And it, it was fear. Mm. And we're not given a spirit of fear, as we know. So I should have learned how to work through that and bring them on the journey. And I didn't learn to do that. So my experience is that they're not lazy, most of them were, you know, some of them were running their own business. There's no way they were lazy. They, they were hard-working people. They were just afraid of this thing called evangelism. And their evangelism was put the poster up, uh, do the girls' brigade, do the boys' brigade, perhaps have the youth group, which is where we got saved, which was almost a, a separate entity to the church, um, and, and step back from it and let it run instead of getting involved. So I, I'm not with you. I, I, I don't think it's just laziness. There are other things going on. I mean, you know how complicated it can get. Oh, it can. In, in other words, that there may be a reason for that laziness. Um, absolutely. But I think yeah. some are lazy. And it's usually a fear of some sort, yes. of something. We need to get to, to grips yeah, with Yeah, I think I met people where I would question that. Or maybe it is. Maybe it's a, uh, just a fear of, of, of getting, you know, giving time. And yeah. that. But... I, I guess what you're really saying when you shared that example there is you're saying that what we can't do is condemn them. For whatever reason, mm -hmm. we perceive them as being lazy and not really serving. Mm -hmm. The last thing we can do is condemn them. We, we, we've got to encourage them, mm. really, yes. for 